my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Did Selena Powell really just post on TikTok insinuating that Clarence NYC, which is the boyfriend of R&B singer Queen Nija, hit her up? Let's go ahead and get into exactly what she posted. She said, when you're known to expose and yet the YouTuber with the R&B singer girlfriend and a kid is in your DMs wanting to fly you out but refuses to pay hush money. Then she goes on a little bit more to insinuate that this could be Clarence by posting and saying, should I give him a taste of his medicine? Now, we know that Queen Nigel, she has a single called Medicine. So it seems like at this point, Selena Powell was just mocking Queen's lyrics. Now, honestly, Queen Nigel and Clarence, neither one of these two have spoken out or said anything about these allegations that Selena Powell is putting out. But I want to know what you guys believe. Usually, Clarence does react to the rumors that are put out about him. And I do believe that he will probably put out a reaction or probably say, that this is not true but i want to know like i said what you guys believe do you believe selena powell or do you not believe her do you think that she's capping now i will have to say i've seen a lot of comments of people saying that they feel like she's capping because she has capped on things in the past allegedly okay like i say y'all let me know what y'all believe let's go ahead and move on to nba young boy and his baby mother cola which this is a very very sad situation now cola posted today onto her social media some very gruesome pictures of her face with gore all over her face for lack of better words on youtube she posted these pictures saying that she had just came from nba young boy's house trying to get their son she's saying that he stuck his mistresses on her let's go ahead and get into exactly what she posted she said watch who you have kids by my son's dad let his let's just say mistresses yes mistresses with a s because it was two of them week a mistresses he gave them the order to get me lol you know bees who never came from it's just gonna do it my son was in my hands and his dad just sat back and watched it shaking my head and then she said they kept trying to take kl from me which is nba young boy and her son i cried so hard i even screamed so loud like you think that i was mental i was holding my baby so tight i was never letting my son go the swing on you low life mistresses i came for my son and i left with him she also said i would be wrong if i press charges on y'all for doing me like this with my baby in my hand but karma gonna eat y'all a's up i got my son back i'm happy that's all that matters five stitches later and her week a fist ain't do this shorty had some then she decides to post some receipts showing the text messages between her and nba young boy and even her and nba young boy's wife jaslyn she said he's so unreasonable so happy this is all over with now i asked his wife if she can ask him to get kl's flight and he said no keep in mind the flight is 1300 dollars for both of ours round trip and all i asked him to do was pay for kl still couldn't do that and she posted text messages this is jaslyn she says i'll send motrin and tylenol with him but he woke up yesterday feeling bad he just feels warm but don't have a cough or nothing so i've been giving him that and pedialyte it's probably from the air conditioning being on and then outside it's probably hot he will be okay did you ask Contrell if he can get kl's ticket she responded back she said i asked again he said no then she said he said what time are you going to be here now these next text messages that cola posted look like it's just her and nba young boy Contrell talking this time um first she posted and she says mind you i dropped my son off at the end of august he wanted me to come <clears throat> He wanted me to come and get him two weeks into being there. So I told him to keep him two more weeks. He was mad laughing my A off. I just feel like if you ain't going to help financially, you're going to help physically. Now, these are the text messages. This is NBA young boy, allegedly. And he says, come get him. Then she said, I can come Thursday. I got work. Then he said, I ain't trying to hear that ish. Then she said, darn, you can't wait until Thursday. He said, nah. She said, well, I don't know what to tell you. Then he put the laughing emoji. She said, why KL can't thug with his dad? Can you have someone bring him to your mom? Then he responded back and he said, stop texting me, B. Have your mom come and get him. Now, a lot of people were on social media telling her, look, stop posting this to social media. Stop telling us on social media. You need to actually press charges of course, there's a lot of people who are tired of hearing these stories on social media and they want women to actually press charges against the guy that they are talking about 
people did something to them or set them up or got somebody else to put their hands on them. Well, Cola decided to post and let it be known that the hospital actually pressed charges. She said, for y'all info, I'm not sparing ish. When I went into the hospital, they already called the police because they are mandated reporters laughing my effing A off. It's just a waiting game. So it looks like NBA Youngboy might be in some more trouble. I mean, NBA Youngboy was literally just asking his attorney to ask the judge, can they cut down some of the restrictions for his house arrest because he was starting to lose weight. He was starting to get very much depressed and he was starting to worry about how he was going to provide for his family, how he was going to work his job because the restrictions that he had on him was just so, so strict. And with him asking for this and now what Cola is saying happened and now there's, you know, charges that are going to be pressed against him. You know, things are not looking good. That's what I will say about this situation. But come on, NBA young boy, why would you get them women to do that to your baby mother while she is holding your son. Now, I can't say everything that Cola is saying 100% is the truth. Of course, NBA Youngboy is going to have his side of the story and everybody else who was there are going to have their side of the story. But I guess the truth lies in there somewhere, you know, but we all seen Cola's face. So we can't just sit here and say, oh, she's not telling the truth about the situation. Now, while NBA Youngboy's baby mother, Cola, is going viral, right now while her story is going viral it looks like NBA Youngboy is very much unbothered he decided to post on his insta story that he brought Hawaii to his own backyard so he's having somewhat of a party just enjoying his life with his friends and family and he's not worried about the fact that his baby mother spoke out and said what she said posted the pictures that she posted Looks like he's just enjoying, you know what I'm saying, his life. But you guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Let's go ahead and get into our last topic, which is going to be Miss Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj spoke out and let the barbs know that they should not be, for lack of better words, on YouTube, shredding anybody on her behalf. This is what she posted. She said, Dear Barbs, be sure to never shredden anyone on my behalf, whether on the internet or in person, whether in jest or not. I don't and never have condoned that. We have an amazing album right around the corner, 1208, 2023. Y'all let me know, are y'all ready for Pink Friday? Are y'all excited for Pink Friday too? Um, she also said, it feels so surreal and euphoric, wishing you blessings on blessings. Like I said, y'all let me know, if y'all ready for Pink Friday too? I know I am. Anyways, my lovely TTs, let me know what you feel about all of these topics in the comment section. Once again, thank you so much for watching Room for Tea. I just want to say right now, I'm super, super, super appreciative of the people who constantly comment on my videos and show me love you know what i'm saying i gotta pull up y'all names to say them all but you know what i'm saying you guys' profile pictures are like stuck in my head like i know everybody everyone who i comment back to or are consistent on my channel commenting trust me i know y'all i love y'all i appreciate y'all my lovely tts anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get off this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one have a blessed rest of your night